Hi guys, hello and welcome to another video. Today we are on the move and in this video we're going to be talking about how to travel in an RV in China during 2022 and the COVID situation. So check it out. All right, guys, so when it's time to either charge the car or have lunch, so we stop at one of these rest stops. And uh, the main thing is that to stay safe, we don't go into the service area. The service area, to go in, you need to scan your QR code. If a person has a, a QR code from an area where they find a case, if we scan this QR code and that person also scans this QR code, then automatically we get connected to that to that person and that might affect our ability to travel and move around so we cook inside the rv it's kind of like an instant hot pot kind of meal so we buy some of those and that's what we prepare so let's go check it out so this is the product that we buy and uh, basically heats itself and cooks itself we don't need to hook up gas or electricity or anything every time we stop then the animals get some water we bring them down. <laughs> right? Hello. Hello. And that one over there. He travels in a cage. Well, in a, in a bag. Because he's a master of getting out of his harness. And this is the setup for us when we are on the move. Basically, everything is stowed away to avoid things from falling. You can see here, also very similar. Everything's stowed away and whatever we don't stow away, we put it low so that it doesn't fall too far. So another important thing to do is to um, print screen um, your latest uh, test just in case. Um, ours is June 9th at 5 o'clock. So that means that today is the 11th. So until five o'clock, we're covered by this one. But by the time we exit the highway, you'll see we'll probably have to do another COVID test and we need to register because we're entering another province, right? Mm -hmm. So when you enter a different province, you also need to register your health code with that province so that every test and everything else goes updated to the central Alipay health code thing. So right now, as we're driving on the highway, we still have uh, probably five hours to go to a destination. The wife is downloading the iShangdong uh, app, which is what is going to connect to the Alipay and give us our health codes and keep track of our uh, tests and where we go and where we when we enter. So yeah, it's all very convenient. The next uh, province that we go, we just need to scan that province's app and uh, yeah, along along we go. So that's it. That is the Shandong QR code ready, and that's before we get to Shandong. All right, so we are exiting the highway right now, and we'll be driving pretty much all day, like six, seven hours, and we are about to find out what's going to take place in terms of COVID tests. And so a lot of things have changed and now they don't give you a test if you haven't been in an area where uh, where there are no cases so since we've been only in Nanjing um, and there are no cases in Nanjing they just let us go and it's very dark so but anyway I just wanted to show you guys how it is that we can travel around the country um, 
during this COVID season.